Thank you once again for tuning in to Rastas Realities. And I am Akil Bomani. Let's get to it. As you can see from the media in front of your eyes, this will hurt the feelings of those who love oppression and those who complain about everything with the exception of supremacy from others. This includes those who look like us and has been bought and paid for to be the Negro Whisperer. Those who do not take personal responsibility for their shortcomings. Those who seek to tear down others who oppose white supremacy. Buck dancing, bootlicking, set out, and any one or thing that is for Ebony Excellence. I, Rasta, when it comes to politics, are not in the advanced section. I, Rasta, also is not completely ignorant to them either. See, the way it works is the politicians fight for our votes, not us fighting to vote for more oppression, prejudice, and mistreatment. Mistreatment like attempting to bypass the ebony vote by seeking to win only by Latinos, Asians, and every other ethnic groups. Why is it that the, the media and supremacy itself behaves in the manner as if they don't need us? Yet, every time you turn on the television, every time you open your device, every time you read a book or a newspaper, it's always some Caucasian doing something to the Ebony folk. If not mentally, physically. If not mentally, physically, emotionally. But they claim that we are less than. They claim that we are the poorest. We, they claim that we are the, the smallest amount of, of importance when it comes to the world. Though we have contributed, if not flat out built this country. The reason for attempting to bypass Ebony folks' vote it's because we ebony folk are staying firm on tangibles. No tangibles for us alone, no vote. Now this, this does not mean that I do not vote. I only see local voting as something more important than who's in the White House. Every other ethnic groups are content with being a faction of white supremacy. This is why you don't hear any other ethnicity or ethnic, eth ethnic group speaking about reparations. This is why you don't hear them speaking up when the Caucasians or their overseer as well are doing things Un unconscionable things, um, despicable and hatred, filled with hatred and evil things to us Ebony folk. No one else says anything. And a little group that does say anything about it is short-lived as when they're done, they go back to where they came from. And it's no longer discussed unless they're looking for brownie points or social currency with their friends you know the I got a black friend conversation though we respect them for the little bit when they're speaking up for us it's not needed what's needed is when you in your circles as a Caucasian that you say, I'm going to pull up a little black boy or a little black girl or how I, how I like to term it, a little ebony boy or a little ebony girl. 
and I'm going to give them skills and, and, and a mindset to to help them find their purpose. And I'm going to and, and, and I'm going to teach them how to to reach another in their circle, as so they can uh, thrive a little bit better than what's been presented so far. None of that is happening. This is why our demands for tangibles are not shared by other groups. It seems like a number of ebony folk love complaining about racial injustices and other things against us, all while continuously voting to keep the spiked Kool-Aid coming. It is a disservice to focus on politics as opposed to fixing ourselves, our homes, and our minds. The blind voting class honestly believes what the chosen candidates keep failing to convince the ones who clearly sees what they do not, and that is just vote and pray everything will be okay. This is a lie. Check out the video, Loving the Lie, in the description section or the comment section. It lends to this talk. After every what's called an election, nothing gets better for us ebony folk. And you would think that those who believe in the process of casting those votes will be cognizant of how every so-called election, things get worse especially in the political field. Am I lying? Check your headlines of all of the posturing done by both sides. Do you think they have your best interest at hand? Now the title should be become apparent at this point. Let me tell you, yeah, voting the Hawaiian in office for two terms was something that I participated in. Falling for the pimping language of said candidates. Bruh. Politics, like everything else, has its pros and cons to it. Saying to Ebony folk that our vote is not needed isn't a winning formula. Need proof? Check past and current history for invoices and receipts of how much ebony folk are needed. And as you will see, we make everything better. This includes ourselves when the work is done. I find it is better to use what's present to decipher through politics to become better acquainted in tactics used in them. The best way to do that is to listen twice, two ears, and speak once, one mouth. The learning process is far better that way. Some in-depth research wouldn't hurt either. Seems like candidates, candidates are looking for simple-minded folk versus those of us whose sole focus is the ebony agenda and tangibles, you know, economic uh, empowerment, things of that nature. As I close this talk, politicians are visibly upset that more and more ebony are on code now more than ever. Hence why the candidates are attempting to bypass ebony folks' votes, all while seeking to gather other ethnic group votes as if that is a winning solution. So much for the United States. What's due, you America will pay. All of that wasted energy on not paying the bill from slavery, etc. has not gone unnoticed. Short-sighted politics is self-defeating. Undermining ebony voters is far beyond stupid. Lastly, 
all we want is reparations and punish the police for their transgressions against us. On that note, if you're new to the channel and enjoy the content, please subscribe, like, and share, and tap that bell to all to be notified when I go live. And it also helps the channel grow. And growth is good. For my loyal listeners who are subscribed, I appreciate you more than you know.